back to Count Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Moon Knight number one. The title of this issue is Welcome to the to New Egypt, part one of five. It is written by Jeff Lemire. Art by Greg Smallwood. Colors are by Jordi Belair. And letters are by VCs Corey Petit. Over the years, Mark Spector has gone by many names. James Lockley, Jake Lockley, Stephen Grant, and the most infamous one, Moon Knight. When Mark wakes up in an insane asylum, he is told he has been there all his life, with records to prove it. Mark begins to question his own identity when Khonshu encourages him to fight back and escape. With the mask of Moon Knight on, does Mark see the truth, or does it only deepen his insanity? This book, this character is right up Jeff Lemire's alley. In all the best ways, Jeff Lemire has a great slant on reality when it comes to writing and he likes to push the envelope and makes us think. This book really does that and I loved it. I also really loved that Lemire got the correct terminology for what most people think of as multiple personality disorder. Lemire correctly named it Dissociative Identity Disorder or DID, which he says both of them in this title. This is something small for most of you, but I always hate it when people misname it. And finally, someone got it correct. I give the story four and three quarter stars. The art, while not my usual taste, I think fits the tone of the book. It helps you really think outside of the box because the art and the panel layouts really made you feel like you were in Mark's head and everything was just disjumbled which helped immerse you into the story. But I would have liked a little bit more details or maybe a bigger difference between reality and his delusions. I give the art four and a quarter stars. Overall, I did enjoy the issue and I cannot wait to read the next issue. I just hope that they don't do what the last team did on the last volume of Moon Knight and play too much on his insanity and constantly question what is real and what is not. I hope the first arc does that. Then the next one gives us some superheroics on street level with Moon Knight. If you don't know Moon Knight but always want to give him a shot, this is a good place to do it. Since Lemire is exploring him as a character on multiple levels, this is the perfect time to jump on. So with the story getting four and three quarter stars and the art getting four and a quarter stars, I give this an overall four and a half stars and I say pick it up if you dare to take a wild, crazy ride. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and download Frontline Live every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.